QOE and QoS are kind of like another favorite topic as well too. Also being handled at SVTA. I keep making this plug for SVTA. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question is always that, you know, our focus is always from the client side point of view, quality of experience, the QOE metrics. Your typical metrics on uh, play start, play failure, rebuffing and such. Uh, but they're also a function of a root cause that is happening or that has happened in the past upstream of where the player sits. And so it is absolutely important to actually figure out where these problems happen uh, so you can react to that to them much sooner. And these systems are generally your CDN delivery side of things, your channel acquisition, channel uh, signal acquisition, but then also your services layer as well too. So the player first starts talking to your services layer running in the cloud, let's say, and those systems to be up there uh, running without much latency and they should have availability. And once that handshake completes with the services layer to get access to the playback URL, then the player starts talking to the CDN and start pulling the content. But in a live case, the content is never sitting with the CDN except for the, uh, the content age is out really fast because everybody is generally at the live edge. So the CDNs invariably have to keep going upstream to the shield, to the origin, but the origin also never has the content. So it has to be coming in from the signal. And so, having visibility into these different systems and having a DevOps model and owning responsibility of like different systems in your pipeline and making sure that availability and latency is under check. And if they pass a specific threshold, you should signal on those. Now, a threshold is, may I don't know how uh, popular this concept is, um, but if it is, and that should be because the different components they have to operate within a threshold of performance. And if they cumulatively, if those thresholds add up, when those thresholds add up, it will have a negative effect on the player side. So it kind of becomes important to monitor when a specific system starts to flag and starts to kind of play really, and then alert on that. And then based on that, you can actually have your mitigation strategies as well too. So, so I guess that was like part question and part most of the answer. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so realistically, all of you guys have something I'm going to assume for QOE, QoS. Um, are there issues with how it works for you or is it working fine? It could always work better. Yeah. I don't think you, you, you're never done with QOE. You're never just, oh, we're done. You know, you're not, it's not good long. enough. You're just, yeah. no, you're um, okay, and, a perfectionist. And, so for well, I mean, for us, it, it's really about you know to uh, PC's point, it's it's about getting visibility to as much of the telemetry as you can, and then understanding it. Um, because at some point, when you've got so much data, it's about really trying to put it in a format that you can visualize and really pinpoint easily. Where we're having a problem in you know this particular CDN node in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, or or something like that, right? Um, so there's there's issues like that, and then you know the the entire service layer needs needs to be monitored you know in in uh to to his point you know this is a devops model and so you know the bane of existence to video services is not always the video usually it's the, more, nine times out of ten there's an authentication issue right um or there's some other issue like that that's not even in the cdn delivery and so you've got to really monitor all of the services involved in, in delivering video as opposed to just what delivers the video bits 